I'm not gonna lie, when I first did like the multi-class races, I was I'm like, why are we leaving such a huge gap? Thought it was dumb, and then it's like, oh, it makes sense, you know, like, no point. But yeah, I'm sorry about the um, telemetry and stuff being all jerky and whatnot. All right, we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna do our best. See if we can uh, stay with Cupid here. Two YouTubers. Let's give them a YouTube one too. Getting absolutely screwed off that start. It's alright though. Good catch there, Mark. Good catch. Jeez Louise. Where you go, Porsche? Cost us to lose a little bit of time. We got Buddy up here blinking. That's going to be distracting as hell. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me earlier, Gavin, but I was saying once I got some laps on this track, I do love it. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it in the GT3 car. Dude, number two is going to drive me nuts with this blinking, though. We're going to a GTP pitting. Means he's gonna catch us pretty quick. Try to focus up. Top five would is really all I'm hoping for. But looks like after fourth here, there's a little bit of a gap. I didn't see any Corvettes on the pace lap either. I wonder if Corvettes like supposed to not be good here or something. I know some tracks are not good for certain cars. Oh, big gap behind us now. Something must happen. I totally missed it. I don't imagine we'll have to pit for fuel, but we'll see. Flying. 
We're holding good in third. This would be a good run for me. We're still going to have the LMDH cars catch us, so that could change everything. And who knows, tires could fall off too. This is a really high speed track. I imagine left side tires are taking a lot of abuse. The car in P2, just at the bastard lap. 16, 46, Holy crap, they're in the 16s up there. Ain't no way I'm catching those guys, dude. Not without some serious issues from them. But if they get to battling, that could be what we need. Looks like we already got the LMDH oh, man. Okay. leaders catching us. Three seconds back. I feel like this track is way too tight for multi class. Stay on the left. To the right. Cost us a little bit of time, but not too bad. A terrible angle right there. Big time nose itch. Those are deadly. Nose and ear, man. Those are the two that you don't want. Man, the leader of the GTPs is gone. Group of faster cars approaching. Nice, he was able to get us before this turn. Okay, for now. Hmm. All right, man, have fun in the 305s. That's a class I have not ran in forever. Is there not that many LMDH? Like, damn. Sounds like a plan, R&R. &R. You're amazed how quickly those LMDH caught us.
This next LMDH should get us before this corner. Very good. Pulled away from those cars behind. Can't really see the guys in front of us anymore either, though. Where we chill in our own little pocket. Wow. Must have missed that corner huge. Almost halfway through this sucker. I get back on track here, put in some decent laps. Like these tires are going to be pretty shot by the end of this, though. It's like a good line into that section. Don't have any LMDH on the relative, so that's good, I guess. Don't want to jinx it, but still with the zero X. I really feel like the tires are kind of starting to go away. Uh, it's hard to say. The muscle might be overdriving just a tad. That's good news. Here comes the LMDH behind us. This guy who had the pit. Ah, uh, fuck, I'm so sorry, man. That probably was not the best way to do that, but at least I made it clear what I was going to do. I'm 
looks like they're battling for the lead. One of these guys might get me by this corner. The other one might have to wait till the front straightaway. Nope. We negotiated that very well. Yeah, I'm leading us to run in 17s. We had a lot of traffic that time through, but yeah, I've fallen off quite a bit. So smooth through there. Looks like we got a third pretty, pretty locked up as long as we don't screw it up, which is entirely possible. I do that regularly. Battle for the lead seems to have split up. Tander. I gotta watch out for that one. Car is definitely struggling to hold it. Holy crap, this thing has become very twitchy. I do mean extremely twitchy. We are hanging on for dear life at the moment. I think I just need to take a couple laps, try to cool down the tires a little bit, get them back to like normal operating temperature. Try to survive the second half of this race. We've got a good gap to work with. Almost nine seconds, so. Maybe it's like the front tires have so much grip now. Very good, man. Seven to six. At least she gained a spot. That's always ideal to at least maintain or gain a spot. Still looking good behind. We've only lost like a tenth or so. The eights, that's one of my favorite series to do. Good luck on that one. Huge misstep right there. The race brain's kicking in hard, man. 
As my buddy Nick would say, the goon moments are coming out to play. We're all right. Still got eight seconds to work with. 15 minutes left in the race. Starting to get warm in here, though. This is California. And it's like 108 degrees outside. Fire front is pitting. I'm gonna need to uh, check and see if I have to pit for fuel. I don't believe I do. That's seven more laps left. Let's see, we might have to pit for fuel. We'll see, I got 3.8 gallons left. Six and a half laps. be short by a little bit we'll see I'm gonna just ride it out um, I know you guys can't see my fuel box off to the right too far but Five laps of fuel left. Okay. She's Louise. We're in a podium position. There we are. I just wonder if we can keep it. Pit. So we got ten minutes left. Yeah, I'm just gonna come in this time. Tires are shot. I'm losing more time staying out. Need to get some fresh tires on this Johnson. Coming up quick. 
Nice try, Ralph. We're just gonna take fuel and tires, I yeah, guess. I'm not in. Three, two, one. Right here. All right. Didn't expect this, but here we are. Tires probably not the way to go. That's it, go. Should not have taken tires. That was a dumb move on my part. Belly. Belly? Ooh, Nelly. We almost lost it. Well, we're good. Still 0x. At least we could say that. You know I don't need fuel now, so... So let her eat. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, they were definitely falling off, but it just took so much extra time that I was not accounting for. But it's all good. Drive hard, try to get as many positions as we can. There's one in, another one in. Appreciate that lapper getting out of the way. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap is by 49 seconds. It's ninth ahead of us. We might have lost a lot of spots on that. Maybe not. That was your fastest lap of the session. 
That's a smart LMDH driver right there. And a very patient one. Very patient, wow. That cost me a lot of time, though. Some more spots, so that's good. One lap, we're coming to the white flag. That one X for that off track, damn it. Gonna have at least one more lap after this. Hopefully, I got enough fuel. Tires definitely would have been the call. I think we could have finished top five had we not taken tires. Close, but not close enough. Dang it.
Oh, there you have. We'll bring home eight. It's kind of a bummer after running third most of the race, but it is what it is. A one X, so we should gain a good amount of safety rating. And it looks like we had a little bit of high rating gain, so not the end of the world. But I would have liked to uh, had a top five. Glad my keyboard is working because everything else is not. My mouse is not. This looks like right at the start of the back of the pack. Wow. Getting absolutely screwed at the very start. That's unfortunate. Immediately to pit road. Oh, yep. The Porsche that was in front of us. Ooh, he ended up finishing 17th, so he didn't have a good race. Unfortunate. OMDH spinning off track. And no holding the brakes at all. Not an option. Unfortunate. Right behind us. Oh, this is what happened to this guy. Let's get a little sideways. Doink. Oh, nice. Good wheelie. This sucks for him. Josh, what's up, man? Just time we're gonna do some rally cross cars at the Nurburgring for the Ringmeister. Oh, Sentinel. We just ran a uh, IMSA race in the GT3 class. Started third, finished. I think it was eighth. We ran third most of the race, and then when I pit, um, I took tires, and we shouldn't have taken tires, apparently, is what it, what happened, so. It's unfortunate, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, hey. It's all good. It is all good. It's not really other wrecks from that GT3 IMSA race, or IMSA race, I guess, just in general. Oh! That sucks. Mustang spinning. Waiting though, like a very uh, good driver, I guess, or patient. Nope. Waits for the last guy. Very nice. Oh, the guy that spun. Oh, it's a little contact. No big deal. But loses the front bumper. Nice. Oh, tricky spot. Oh, he just made him panic and lock up the brakes, maybe. Yikes. Oh. Going off track together. Nice. Oh, man. Uh, GTP barely missing them. Wow, a lot of Mustangs spinning. I wonder if it's just real tail happy. Being a front engine car, I guess it would be. Uh oh. Ferrari going off. Not good. Oh, that's ambitious. The winner. So, I, I mean, I get it. He's trying to, uh, you know, get away, but. Very sketchy. Oh. Wow. Sacrificed himself. What a guy. And then does not drive off the track. Just stays there. Had plenty of time to do it, though. So, it's all good. That guy. Boink. No bueno. It's gotten too hot. This guy's had action from the very start. A lot of curb there. A lot of curb there. And that shoots him off track. Unfortunate. Into the pits. Too hot into the pits. Doink. Wow. That sucks. Nope. Oh, pay no attention to buddy. Doink. That crew's been busy. Wow. I never once felt like my Corvette was going to spin right there. That was insane. Oh, that's unfortunate, r and &R. It, it happens. Corvette's spinning there. Interesting, man. I felt like my Corvette was stable the whole way through. Quite something. Lincoln. Oh. 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 A murder. So that was. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, man? Wow, the second place guy. Oh. Homie put in a good qualifying lamp, and that was about as good as his day got. Blinker. 
Blinker. Ah. Blinking. Oh, we have an off track situation. And. I did. I don't know what to say. Oh, we're sending it. We're sending it. We saved it. The blink. Oh my. God. What happened here? Oh my goodness. All right. Enjoy R and R, man. Good luck at whatever you're going to race. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, we will catch you in the next one. I will be streaming again tomorrow, so feel free to stop by if you ain't got nothing going on. Otherwise, catch you next time you're around. Good luck again. This guy's had a lot of issues. He's going to blink out again. And that is it. Very good. On to our results. Survey says, there we go. 0.16 safety rating gain. Very nice. And hey, we break into the 2000 range. 2003 I rating with an eighth place finish in class should have been a third, fourth, or fifth. Oh well. Is what it is. Go. Cool. That was a fun one. We'll have to hop back in uh, later in the season, see what we can do.